It's Warcraft Day. Come play with us this game. Greetings, everybody. This is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay quest. This is going to be a replay quest by none other than fan and we will be having this on for a while. And we all since I've done one. Wow. I've uh, been just tied up with doing stuff and I've been kind of procrastinating I guess and that's kinda had the affecting everything a bit. Hopefully I can just get, get back to it without having to not do it for a long time because that's not really good for the channel either. So before we begin just like to put it down just like always that anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays for the replay quest series to know more about how you can do so you can join the discord server link to that is on the twitch panel and in the description below get our top donor our top replay quester and mofa spawning over here at the left side of this map purple undead purple it is definitely purple we'll be facing off against a human known as fatty masker Rather interesting name, who is going in for a rather interesting build order as well, as he puts on his farm uh, without having to complete the first. That is one way of doing things. And have Archmage as the first hero, no towers, just... We don't need some lumber before he can get that. We have to get his freeze and stuff out first. No scouting done by either of the players. So, that's one thing to note. None of them will be having too much of an idea of what's going on at the side. Both of them are just chilling out a bit, just wanting to play this a bit casually. Got the tower coming down and the third farm being, play, uh, being placed in the front line there, having a little uh, entry and exit and opening on the edge. That's going to be helping him out in defending his base. Eventually when Mofat comes in for the assault, Mofat going in for Crypt Lord. It's going to be Crypt Lord versus Archmage. Let's see how this turns out to be as we have the scout footy heading in towards this... Uh, mercenary camp. Yep, it is definitely a mercenary camp. I did not make a mistake this time because I do make I do tend to make mistakes with these at a lot of times. Now human players uh, probably <laughs> must have ran into this camp while trying to uh, go over here for this mer camp. So that's one thing that human players kind of want to be careful of. Love the way how Fatty Master elegantly uh, pushes his militiamen towards the creep camp, but he took a good amount of damage on his archmage. Not too much and he can recover from that real easily the only little problem that he'll he's gonna be having is the if the dk was lurking around but of course we know that there is no dk and he is not lurking around either so any masker gonna be able to easily creep this camp out like no problem at all and that's gonna be fine Things to be honest yeah okay i don't have my second monitor on so i don't really have a team preview of what's going on we're gonna have um rings of production plus four as an item drop over here which is not the best but not the worst either to be honest it's actually a good item and that's definitely something that you can pass on to the mk the beef of the army keep keep it uh, with the mk in front and what do we have here it appears to be that fatty masker is going in for the expansion camp if you go for this camp, this camp, and the expansion, then of course that's gonna give you level two, uh, level three, I mean. But what do we have here? We got Mofat coming in to that uh, spot immediately without going in for any camp. He sold off his TP, coming in with all the all of the stuff that he has. Fatty Masker is not going to be able to expand over here, even if he does manage to take out all the creeps, and that is something that he intends. Uh, he wants to take out those creeps or at least get enough experience by killing the beetles and stuff to get himself to level three. Uh, perhaps buying himself another shaman priest would be a good idea and uh, use the abolish magic spell of that until you eventually you get priests uh, There's way too many uh, of these beetles right now And the best thing about the beetles is that you can spawn two of them at the same time So Mufad loses two he can just spawn two of them uh, with one spell uh, Archmage surrounded and I like how Fatty Masker got himself to level 3 before TPing away And hey Jockey how you doing man welcome back to the stream Papa coming back and yeah jockey you kind of missed the intro i'm gonna show you so to show that to you um after this game i guess because we're gonna do that intro before every single game and you're gonna love it as we have mofat going in for a green camp right now he got a lot of units there definitely want to push in and go for as many camps as possible and uh, maybe go for some orange camps uh, 
although this is the closest camp that he had uh, perhaps going in for the goblin merchant will be a good idea now and fatty master does want to expand over here he bought himself another forest troll priest and quite frankly this is a really good um substitute item substitute a uh, unit for some time for until you get to tier three uh, or rather tier two sorry and uh, when you're expanding you can't do that of course because there's way too much resources involved you can't really do both of them at the same time so if you have these shadow priests in the back line you got abolish magic and you got heal so you got some stuff going down they're pretty easy to take down though 240 hp only uh so you gonna have to be really careful with them as we have uh fatty masker defending against the push by mofad and oh my goodness mofad went in for the dark ranger this spells trouble for fatty masker because there weren't enough skeleton warriors uh or uh, you know you know because there just weren't enough skeleton warriors there for mofad now he wants more with uh, the dark minion spell there and dark minion spell is currently going heavy on fatty masker as he is losing units left right and center the humans have low hp units uh, mass is the human way and uh, in that kind of a recipe just spells disaster when you get uh, the dark black arrow the dark arrow uh, spell by the dark ranger so dark arrow is the spell over here the peasants everything is vulnerable to be converted into a skeleton warrior and this is something that Fatty Masker is definitely going to suffer. There's so many Skeleton Warrior slash Dark Minions on the battlefield right now. We got an Arcane Tower up. A small s glimpse of hope, but really it's just one tower. What is go what is it gonna do? Perhaps take out all the mana away from the Dark Ranger at least. Do that. We got some more Militiamen coming in, but a lot of them dying over here as well. Fatty Masker wants his expansion. He got him. Uh, he got his Archmage up to level four, and uh, he actually sold off his TP early on. I don't think he TP'd early. I absolutely don't think he used the TP early on when the initial push. And it appears to me that Fatty Masker somehow, some way, managed to push back Mofad for uh, for some time now. The best uh, idea for him would be to set up more towers. Just get as many towers as possible and uh, try to not lose units to mofad you can try to push him away but the number of units you lose you're gonna give so much experience to the dark ranger and the crypt lord once they hit level three it's gonna be it's it's uh, just gonna go south for you after that take out all the mana use your arcane tower perhaps uh focus the arcane tower on the dark ranger now there we go uh where is the army war where are they going fatty masker just realizing that and now coming back level three on that crypt lord this spells disaster dark ranger is about to be level three as well Crypt Lord attacked. We got some more uh, priests coming in. Forest priests. And that Crypt Lord. No TP. Archmage can follow. Need one, one more hit. The elemental. Of had switched directions. And oh my god. That direction switch was everything. But Fatty Masker ain't done yet. He's coming in from the other side. That's no TP. He's gonna get him. A player's forces are one. Under attack. And there we go! Fanny Masker managed to take out Mofad's Crypt Lord. And now we will have a big relief from the Assault Force because now you're gonna be lacking on Beatles. Now you're gonna be lacking on the Big Beef. And uh, the Dark Ranger alone will not be able to do everything over here against the level 4 Archmage. We have tier 2 coming down. Tier 2 is only 50% done. Mofad is going tier 3 probably. 50% more than 50% done for tier 3. He already got his oxygen statues ready. We got more of them coming in. Uh, we're going to have a destroyer army ready real soon. For his berserkers are the substitute. And uh, this is something that just works out at times. So yeah, I'm going to do this. And I'm not exactly sure whether I'm recording this now. I, I, and I think about it, I'm pretty sure I should be. Well, if I'm not... Well, that, that'd be pretty bad if I'm not. <laughs> Actually, you should just, you know, I, I should just check. Oh, everything's great. Everything's great. Oh, 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 is that Jockey? Yeah, I think that's Jockey there. You, you managed to get yourself an Iron Man suit, man. How did... No, that's not an Iron Man suit. That's a freaking Marine. Hmm, I did download some stuff there, so... I guess that was a part of it. No, that's not Jockey. This is Jockey. Yeah, this guy. 
This is jumpy. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back into the fight. As we have Freddy Masker. Uh, is he really going in towards the shop? I don't think he bought anything. At least I don't. I didn't see anything come down. As Moffat is forced to run back to his base with his entire army, Crypt Lord. Coming back. It's on its way back. And yeah, I guess it could be a good idea to just creep the Dark Ranger to level three until the Crypt Lord gets back. More power, more uh, more powerful uh, Black Arrow. I guess that will just work out. Or get a more uh, higher duration silence I guess that also works out in a way any masker putting down the lumber mill <laughs> this is a bad back spot how many trees do you even have over there and do you really want to get rid of these trees these trees act so well as a defense line for you like you don't really want to get rid of them these are the trees you want to get rid of not this definitely not that and we have Fighting Masker, level 5 Archmage. Damn! That's one thing to be worried about. A uh, slight advantage that Fighting Masker is having is that uh, he is getting more experience because of no second hero. After getting to hero 2, that is. But now he's losing a good number of units right now. He doesn't. He's rather ill prepared to face off against Mofan right now. That's a lot of our uh, units there on the side of Mofan. And he's pretty much uh, banking this fight on his level 3 elementals right now. now. They can pack a punch, but really, you don't really need to lose too many units. Perhaps just poke and run, but losing units is a bad idea, and that's exactly what he's up to. And oh, level 3 Crypt Lord coming back into the fight! Making short work of all of those little units, and oh my god, look at that damage. Destroyer, or rather the option is Chancho, just got murdered before transforming into a destroyer. And uh, would be a good idea to back out lightly now. Ah, uh, still in this, and Mofat is rather losing units. I mean, even though this is rather of a dangerous, precarious position for Paddy Masker, he got Potion of Inwell. Didn't use the Scroll of Heal. Well, there really wasn't that many units to use your Scroll of Heal for, and he's going in for. He is going in for the Siege. Moffat doesn't know about that just yet, and the thing is, Moffat will likely not know about it unless until he goes deep into the base, because these are pretty uh, south there. Now he probably knows about it. Why the hell did he drop this? He should have dropped this before using that. Flyers, flying machines coming in. I thought he was going in for siege. He isn't tier three though. We're not gonna have them before he gets to tier three. So it's Fatty Masker deciding to go for just footies and um, footies and uh, flying machines. You could do that potentially. That's not the worst idea if you think about it. You can get some good upgrades, and they can actually be a good workaround army. We only got a lot of flying machines right now, which aren't doing a lot of damage to be honest. Because we need much more of them. They are only effective in much more numbers. But the numbers are building up. And we got some mercenaries coming in. Militiamen being pulled in as well. Mofa trying to cripple the expansion. Got the tower there. Mountain King on the battlefield. Mountain King is here. And it is hammer time. Big storm bolt on that fiend that took it out with the stun lock. Now going in for the another. Does have enough mana for the storm bolt. But is it not a cooldown? It is not on the cooldown. Dark Ranger level 4 after the ogre kill there. Crypt Lord is about to be level 4. But there's a lot of damage on the Crypt Lord. There we go. Level 4 Crypt Lord. Now, Moffat ought to be a bit care, uh, careful, not really, I uh, don't really want to... Oh, no, 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 Fighting Masker may lose his hero! Use the Potion of, or rather, Scroll of Heal at the last moment, Potion of Heal right after that. Probably gonna have to pop that TP at, at any moment right now, because he is in a dire spot right now. Okay, level 2 in this fight. Now losing some peasants, that ain't good. Freddy Masker's hero is so weak right now. If we have a good focus fire on the Archmage, it's likely going to fall. The MK is dealing everything it can. Still has a couple of Storm Bolts in the bank though. Definitely should use them. Can't really stun lock and take out anything though. It's not really something that you can stun lock, but rather just use it. Bring down the HP, stun lock something. Uh, Orb of Corruption coming into play now. Time to stun lock. Bash coming in. Stun lock. Stormbolt. 
Got enough mana? No, it's in, it's in cooldown. You got enough now? No TP? Morphan may lose his Lord for the second time. And... Party Master paying the price by getting losing his... Uh, beefy, beefy Mountain King. Morphan is still in there. We got a level 6 Archmage now, so... I came up with another name for the Archmage. Apart from being a walking, talking mana pool below level 6. After it goes level 6, it becomes a walking, talk, talking town portal. That is correct. It becomes a walking, talking town town portal. But yeah, it, it can literally teleport anywhere. It doesn't have to be just a town portal. More militiamen coming in. And Fatty Master definitely trained a lot of militiamen from what I see. I mean, he called in militiamen like three times. All three times he managed to defend well. This time is the time when Mofat is actually leveling up and oh my god, this looks dangerous. Level 5 level five Dark Ranger, I mean, let's take nothing away from Fatty Masker, but Mofat is doing really great despite of losing his Crypt Lord. It's rather working out as a benefit for Mofat because he got his Dark Ranger to level 5 now. We got Dark Arrow level 3, that's gonna give him some really beefy minions. That Archmage is taking a lot of damage, needs to heal it up right away, has a lot of, uh, got a lot of resources there, definitely can just buy some items and stuff, but uh, maybe if it's under cooldown or something, not available. We got some flying machines coming in from the top, uh, castle was ready, barracks, uh, second barracks coming in, I believe Fatty Masker is thinking knights, and that is exactly what he should be doing, calling in some mercenaries. Would be a good idea to take down those opposition statues before this, uh, they transform into destroyers. Use the slow ability of the mud golem. It's pretty good. Just use it. Abomination coming into the field. MK is back on the field. The Crypt Lord is still inside the altar though. Fatty Masker hanging on for dear life. And Mofat is... Doing everything he can to wreck this expansion down. So much experience earned by Mofad in this fight. Level 6 on the Dark Ranger and that can spell the end of this game for Fatty Masker. Because we're gonna have so much charm. It doesn't matter what you call. Knight's coming in but that, that Knight's just going to be the first unit that gets charmed. Just going to be the first unit, absolutely, as I said. MK falls. The Paladin was not there on time. It was so close, though. Could have easily used the Holy Light if it was in range. Level 7 on that Archmage. The ultimate brilliance aura. A player's force I think just going to have so much mana regen. Nothing's ever going to run out of mana. And Fatty Master has been doing this a lot, actually, in this game. He's been putting in everything together and that... Apparently almost fell down, but gets staffed back by the human player. Staff the Sanctuary, pulling out a book from the Night Elf players. Griplot coming back into the field and only realizing that it is no longer the leader of the pack because the Dark Ranger is already level 6. The knight was his knight going down. Fatty Masker is really on the back foot. Mofat does not have enough mana for another charm. Definitely needs to... I mean, he could have carried a couple of potion of uh, mana from his base to over here, if you think about it. That would have worked out really well for Mofat. Could have uh, done a few more charms. And if he managed to take, like, two more knights, like, this game is surely over. He is still on his side, though. The Dark Ranger is getting low though! Need to back it out. Need to back it out right away. Party Masker, or rather, uh, Mofat, I must say. Getting that right spot there, and oh, I love the way that he just took out those units one by one and sort of converted them to Skeleton Warriors. I like how Party Masker is keeping behind a flying machine though on Mofat Dark Ranger there. And Mofat just detected and took out. More knights coming in. Fatty Masker is coming back into this fight. Big Storm Bolt! Cryptlord is just over here to take the damage and fall it appears. Another Holy Light will definitely kill it. Come on Holy Light! 
Holy light! Stronghold! And it goes down. I don't really know what's up with that. He definitely had holy light in the bank. I'm sorry if it was on under cooldown. <laughs> it doesn't show me over here at least. He isn't using it or he just kind of forgot about it. There we go. Got some holy light going down, but this one wasn't enough to kill. Maybe if he, if he used the holy light to kill the crypt lord, he would have been able to use the holy light now to kill this abomination. But he still can do it. Knights do have faster speed. Get there, punch it down. No death knight, no death coil. But the dark ranger is there, and the dark ranger now gonna use the charms. Need that mana regen by the obsidian statues for sure. The essence of light. Any masker forced to take out his own knights, which were charmed by Mofad. This pally definitely needs a divine shield, absolutely. That's exactly what he needs. So much damage. Any masker is currently manhandling Mofad's army right now. Right off the level 6 Dark Ranger, more knights coming in, more flying machines on the field. Level 6, uh, level 3 elementals. This looks really bad for Mofad. And I think this game is over. Paddy Masker, after defending up against three assaults on his expansion, managed to push back Mofad finally. And a lot of this does come down to the way how Paddy Masker defended his base three times. And he managed to take out Mofad's uh, Crypt Lord uh, three times there. Yeah, that was definitely a hat trick. Level 4 MK. This game is surely over. I don't really see Mofad coming back into this right now. Not by a long shot. Definitely considering the fact that you only got like 1k gold left in the gold mine. And Fatty Masker is on your face with an expansion. And the expansion that you couldn't take out. That's the run coming down. Would I easily take it to get out? Just can't still do it. Just, just holy light. Come on, you can holy light that thing. It's just holy. Oh, okay, you wanted to holy light something else. Now the pally is running low though. Got level eight archmage. Now I can use blizzard, and I don't really have to worry about mana with uh, brilliance or level three. More charms going down. And Mofan actually come back with charms though. I don't. I really don't think so. There we go. That holy light struck it down. And now something out of strike down the Dark Ranger as well. They didn't really use Holy Light too much on the Dark Ranger. Finally, a Stormbolt into the face. Leveled up a bit, but Mofat calls for the GG. That was an amazing game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and listening. If you have enjoyed what you have seen, don't forget to hit the like button. And just like always, I shall be seeing you on the next episode of Warcraft. Yes. Yes. Warcraft Day. Come play with us this game.